Andy Katz has been joining us uh, all throughout the year. We've had a lot of fun. Um, he comes on the show. He sometimes has some questionable opinions, Tate. Uh, Boise but State. But it's all part of the, the song and dance. And for the most part, we've enjoyed his time uh, coming on the show. Because oh, it's been great. Uh, we welcome opposing viewpoints. We, we like mm. to hear what other people are thinking. And, and we might not necessarily agree with them all the time, but we like to, ha- to hear you know, what else is being said out there. But at a certain point, Andy, uh, I feel <laughs> like it becomes irresponsible of us to continue to give you a platform when, mm. uh, cause at a certain point we ha- are now complicit in your madness. And I think we may have reached the point this week because I open up your tier rankings and I see that Gonzaga is number one, which of course Checks out. makes a lot of sense. And Andy Katz, ladies and gentlemen, has put the Michigan Wolverines. Wait, what? Who were smoked at the barn, who went to overtime against the Oakland Grizzlies. <laughs> Uh, he has placed them above the Baylor Bears in his tier rankings. We have reached. <laughs> He's rolling it, his eyes right March, now. It's not quite March, but the madness is here. Andy, defend yourself. Okay. Um, as I've told you guys time and time again, I'm taking a snapshot in time. And last week, Baylor came off a pause and was down 17 to a very, and I'm being generous here, average Iowa State. Uh, came back and won. Mm-hmm. All good. And I know Baylor was not 100% in terms of the roster. Compare that with Michigan, down 14 at Wisconsin, on the road, off their pause, Mm. beat the Badgers in the second half, um, have not lost since, and I just think they're playing better right now. Mm. And so I nudged them ahead of Baylor, but I kept all three of them in that Tier 1 title favorite is, is Baylor not undefeated enough for you Andy would you rather have <laughs> Baylor uh lost that game against Iowa State by a lot like Michigan little did. adversity yeah uh like Michigan did to Minnesota I mean is this not disrespectful to Baylor? do you think uh so you're just saying this is a snapshot in time because I, I agree with you I mean Baylor obviously did not play well against Iowa State they had to claw back into it but um are you ready to go so as far as to say because we saw a lot of people react to this uh Michigan blowout of Iowa and obviously they beat Ohio State we don't need to talk about that as much mm. um but I've seen a lot of people in the fallout of, of the Iowa game tonight uh, saying that Michigan might be the best team in the country. People are taking it that far, Andy. They're saying, like, if I was to say to you that the Michigan Wolverines are, in fact, the best team in college basketball, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. That's still crazy. No, it's not. It's crazy. Look, <laughs> I, I think that Gonzaga's offense is better. I think Michigan's defense is better. Wow. And straight up, if I had to make a pick – uh, I still would lean Gonzaga, yeah. but I wouldn't be surprised at all. We remember Atlantis Michigan last year, Andy. All the Michigan fans do, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you told me right now Michigan's going to be the champ on April 5th, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Well, we should um, we should also say, Andy, you have about seven Big Ten Network logos that we see. As you're saying, as we're asking you, the difference between Michigan and Gonzaga. He's like, in my unbiased opinion, <laughs> Big Ten Network, Big Ten Network. <laughs> No, I, I. No, but by the way, I still still picking Zaga. Yeah, yeah, I, know. I still think the Zach is the number one overall seed. Yeah, I, I, I actually agree with you. I'm, I'm slowly, unfortunately. It's slowly happening, Andy. Yeah, it's slowly, I, yeah. I, I want to ask you about tier two because uh, Andy, as you saw, North Carolina. They, wait, wait. What's that? They, I, I just want to say this: that there's also another competition going okay. on between Mark Few, Gonzaga, and Juwan Howard, Michigan. And while I would pick Gonzaga to win today as we tape, I actually would pick Juwan Howard, mm. Coach of the Year, Same here. at mm. this moment in time. You heard this. Mm. I said this a couple weeks ago, Andy. Coach again, of the Year, Juwan Howard. Again, Mark Few, not quite undefeated enough, Mark. Mm. You, you haven't <laughs> – should have been a little more undefeated, Mark, and I think that would have got you over the <laughs> – um, Speaking of speaking of uh, conferences and I, I don't know I, bad segue but uh, I, I want to talk about Florida State because you're, you're cutting him off he was going to go to tier oh, two go to tier two go well, ahead that's what we're going to tier two basically ACC which yeah. you were just bringing up yeah. the conferences the ACC gets exposed a little bit Marquette comes to town to Chapel Hill to my my Tar Heels Andy and uh, 
they, you know, the Tar Heels lay a dud. Now there's questions. Virginia loses at home to NC State. There's some questions about, you know, how good is the ACC at the top? You have Florida State there in tier two with the contenders there with Ohio yeah. State. How do you feel about Florida State? They're playing at North Carolina on Saturday, Andy. Are you a little concerned about the ACC just being overvalued yeah, we, as a are, whole? Are we just are we just saying Florida State is this good just because like we feel like we have to by default pick the best ACC team and put them up top? Or do we actually believe in? Because the State? ACC is bad. Okay, let me get a word in here. <laughs> I would say yes. The ACC is having an epically poor season for mm. their standards, but I do think if you watch. Uh, which I know both of you do, that Florida State, I think, has clearly separated themselves. I think Mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I felt like it was Florida State and Virginia. Then obviously Florida State knocked them off 81-60. Then Virginia loses to Duke. Then Virginia loses to NC State. Um, There is a clear – there's a gap, massive gap right now between the two, between Florida State and the rest. Uh, And so Leonard Hamilton has proven it. Multiple lead eights. I feel comfortable having Florida State in that position. Uh, and Ohio State, despite losing on Thursday night to Michigan State, I still think getting out of the Big Ten, yeah. they should be right there with Florida State in tier yeah, two. Yeah, getting, getting, get it when when the tournament comes and there aren't Big Ten refs to placate Tom Izzo. Yeah, I, I, I agree <laughs> with you. I think Ohio State's going to be just fine. Uh, l- l- let's uh, let's get down to brass tacks though. Like it's it's nice. We we've we've enjoyed like you tearing them and uh, throughout the year and and putting um, you know labels on everything. But ultimately, <laughs> all Tate and I care about, and we get accused of being blue blood homers. We get accused of only talking about a handful of teams, and we don't give enough love to little guys, whatever. And that's because ultimately, all we care about, Andy, is who can win the national title. Yes. Who is good enough? to cut down the nets in April. That's really all, you know, I, I'm, I don't need like your little side stories of nice, mm. f- fun little runs, whatever. So let's just get right to it. Uh, how many teams, because for the longest time, it was just Baylor and Gonzaga. Now we're throwing Michigan in the mix. But Ohio State did play Michigan pretty well. Are they, mm. you know, it's, so how do you see it, Andy? If, if I told you uh, how many teams can realistically cut down the nets in April, can, can win six games in this NCAA tournament, where are we drawing the line? Where I, uh, is it? Is it just the Gonzaga, Michigan, Baylor? Is that it? Are there more you throw in there? No, I would say tier one and tier two. Okay. I feel comfortable saying that those five teams are the five best teams that have the best chance mm-hmm. to win the national championship. If you look at tier three, um, I would assume it was uh, broken nose is a major concern, mm-hmm. and before that, Illinois losing uh, is a concern. Iowa. When they lose, they lose badly. Mm-hmm. That's a red flag. Uh, you know, I'm not sold on West Virginia being able to win six. Alabama got exposed by Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Uh, Villanova, kind of to your point of Florida State, uh, the Big East is not as strong as we thought, mm-hmm. and Villanova is not dominating the Big East. Right. So that's a red flag. So uh, could there be an outlier, you know, like an Arkansas or something like that? Maybe, but I don't, I don't buy it. I feel very comfortable that the national champ will come from one of those top five mm. teams that I've lifted that I've lifted. And Andy, is there a chance that maybe a team like Texas, who at one point I think you almost had it tier one. Mm-hmm. We we had like a two, it was it. a one A, one B yep. type scenario. They sweep Kansas. Uh they look like not necessarily back in form, I would say, but at least they're back on the rails uh, a little bit. Things do seem to be going, mm-hmm. you know, their way. Do you think there's a chance that Texas could make a real run? Because they have the talent to do that and get six wins. Yeah, there's definitely a chance. Mm, um, love it. But, I, I mean, because, look, there's always a chance. Single el- elimination. Um, we need you know, it for and Shaka. Obviously we, hope, we need it badly. We hope that no teams, you know, uh, have a COVID issue where they've got to be bounced. You mm-hmm. um, hope that doesn't happen. But I just, I'm not going to, you know, put my chips in to any other teams outside of that top five that I just listed. Yeah, you, you, I'm just not. You're saying like you don't it. see this as like a uh, – I mean, Tate and I get really excited about the idea of a, a Kimball Walker type season, a mm-hmm. Shabazz Napier, UConn type. I mean, and, and UConn kind of – Yeah, UConn kind of has the formula with Book Night if they can find a way to, to get into the tournament. Um, you don't see that as we, – we can throw that out. Like for, for everyone listening to the show that maybe isn't following college basketball super closely, is it fair to say, Andy, that you're, you're saying this is not going to be a tournament in which – a team like a UConn, for example, where you have like one guy like James Booknight who might go nuts, or Zagorowski, you know, at Creighton. yeah, Zigger, yeah. 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 Th- 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 this is this is not that season. No, yeah, no. yeah. 
but I will say this. I'm not feeling it, but I would also say for those that love the Loyolas of the world, and we'll get those kind Kim of upsets, we always do. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I really believe this, and I think you guys would agree with me on this. If we get a Final Four of four of those five I listed, oh my God. I think that's a great Final Four. Yep. No one's going to complain, and we'll get high-level – Competition. Yeah, I've made this point before. Like, we love Cinderella stories until you look up and VCU is playing Butler in a Final Four game. Yes. And you're like, wait, what? yeah, we you're go like, back. yeah, yeah, yeah redo, <laughs> redo, get the good teams. What <laughs> happened? Uh, anything else, Tate? No, I think that's it for me. Uh, thanks a lot, Andy. This has been great. And uh, yeah, th- this is you know we're in tier season right now. This is uh, I feel it. We got March Madness Happy on the March, horizon. Happy March, Andy. Yeah. Happy March. This is the last time we'll talk to you in February. We look mm. forward to seeing you on the other side. The tournament is happening. God bless you for coming on throughout the uh, throughout the season. We love it. Thanks, Andy. Well, here's what's crazy. Before you kick me out of here, uh, what's crazy is that three weeks from when we're taping this on a Thursday, we will have, if I'm, if my math is correct, we will have the first four. Yes. Let's go. Three weeks from this Thursday, the first four games, NCAA tournament Let's happening. Let's go. Oh. It's been a long wait. My heart is racing. Oh, my God. Uh, Andy, you're the best. Thanks, man. Thanks, Andy. Hey there, thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.